Let's check in with Heidi Watney, who's had a chance to ask both ball clubs about making it to the league championship series. Heidi? Well, to get here, Matt, this club had to survive a tough trial in a division series that went all the way to a decisive game five. But they feel that they're even stronger now for having come through that fire. One player told me, there's nothing like being tested with your season on the brink to really find out what you're made of. We were up against it, and we responded. We are men on a mission. Leading off for Colorado, the center fielder, Ian Desmond. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Career numbers versus Syndergaard, just a three for 13 batting line. He also has one home run. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. So he racks up the now swinging back. strikeout on the breaking ball. Ian Desmond goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. And ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Swing and a liner. But unfortunately, right after shortstop for the second out. And with two away, let's check out our playoff bracket as we give you a look at how these two teams advanced out of the divisional round to meet here for the league championship. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Kyle Freeland. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Mm, pulled him with that one as he's way out in front. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Ball one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen Number anybody one. put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. The set and the 1-1. One -one. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind 1-2 and two now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is there. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Owen won the count. This is line to left. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight, and the first one didn't do any damage. Oh, so he's bad. not sweating this one the at all. Big they big. haven't been able to string yeah. anything together. Lowry. Here's Jed Lowry now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that misses for ball one. 
Ramos gets his lead at first nobody out. In there and it's even at one. The one one home. Softly hit down to third likely no shot at two. Return throw is in time and what do you know they do get the double play. The center fielder number 12. Whoa. Now in the box, Juan Ligares. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's got a batting average of 444. He's taken him deep once. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. Ligares, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. That misses 1-2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. You know guys sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger 0 0. They want to see something go by calibrate the speed calibrate the break and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And Lowry will look this one in for the first out. The white fielder number 19. In now for Colorado Charlie Blackman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sinker gets the outside for a strike. He's pitching well. We're working into the middle innings right now, but this is when he's really going to have to bear down. When you start going through that lineup the second and third time, you've kind of emptied the bucket out already. So he's going to have to continue to buckle down and make good pitches. And he looks at one in there, one and two. No runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Hit to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. The batter, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here's Nolan Arenado. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's got a three for seven line. He also has one home run. Hit sharply toward the right side. But a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. We are still scoreless. Digging in, Dominic Smith over one after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. In there, strike one. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. One and two to Dominic Smith. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. Now about it, the pitcher. So here now is the pitcher, Noah Syndergaard, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. 
The fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one one and oh. Hard hit to the left side but taken in out there it's short. Had him played perfectly that time and there are two gone now. So the lineup flips over and digging in Andrelton Simmons. Lifetime versus this arm. He's gone three for six. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Two out nobody on. Up top it's two and oh. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And that's in there. Base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit. But you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire Number game. Six. So he's still in total control out there. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Oh, for two for him to this point. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. The one two swing and a little blooper to center in there a base hit. Hey after back to back two out hits right now this pitcher thought no he was going to cruise Number through this inning here. and now he's got traffic Yo, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going on the board. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Here's the one one. This is line to left. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On to the seventh here in game one. And we still have no score. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's five for seven. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball inside corner drops in for a strike. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Got him to go down swinging there. David Dahl no, becomes the Fourth first down. out of the inning. Trevor. Well, he certainly Ford. wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Now at the play, Trevor Story. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. A ball and a strike. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. 
grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game now today, bad. Dan? That was the his third season. tonight, and it yeah. seems we're seeing that a yes. lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Even count of two and two to Ian Desmond. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still no score. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Michael Conforto. His career numbers in this matchup, he's gone three for 11. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball, one and one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's got himself into a good hitter's count. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He's been throwing strikes all day, so you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. And this is hit hard to the right side. Three two pitch. Is at the knees and called strike three. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder That's right there. And he struck out 40. twice before that one. Well, so sir. he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. In now, Wilson Ramos. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Hey, this guy's pitching pretty well as we're rolling into the late innings. It's interesting, though. His first pitch strike percentage, less than 40% so far in this one. Behind 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to center field. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great friend. bat to ball skills. Yeah. There are some guys that just have a knack oh, really? zero of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Stepping in now, Jed Lowry. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Oh and two the count to Jed Lowry possible go ahead runs on first one away here comes another oh two pulled the fastball down a little too much there that's ball one. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. To two balls and two strikes now. And 
And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get he's a pitch going, to swing it. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Fielded cleanly, barehanded for one. On to Murphy. It's a double play, and that ends the inning. Mets go down quickly, and this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. That'll bring up Tony Walters. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. First delivery to him on the way. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. This is line to left. There to take it is Cespedes, one away. Mike Reynolds will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Well, Mark Reynolds. Line to the right side. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Striding in for the Rockies, Garrett Hampson. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Into the wind, the 0-1. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. He's feeling it out there on the mound just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Can't get him to chase it's one and two. Well that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes usually gets a ton of swing and miss. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Colorado. We are still scoreless. Your Mike Dunn please. is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom Colorado. half of the eighth. Number 38, Mike Dunn. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. In terms of the lifetime head-to-head -head with Mike Dunn, he's one for three. The center fielder, Juan Here's the first pitch to him. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Dunn. Originally from the state of New Mexico, he was taken in the very late rounds back in the 2004 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now, a right hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. Well, he got a lot of that ball, but nothing to show for it to start the whole eight. Now to the plate, Dominic Smith. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. He's set. Here it comes. And a ball 1-0. The 1-0. Line drive to center field. Desmond is there to put it away for route number two. Todd Frazier will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Comes set. The 0-1. And he lays off for ball one. 
In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitch is lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. In now is Andrelton Simmons. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Two and oh. in terms of the lifetime head to head with Mike Dunn he's 0 for 4. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Well d -Row, you have to love that if you're a hitter you get ahead in the count 2 and 0 oh, you get a fastball right good. down the middle and he sure knew what to do with it. Are you kidding me you fight. Tooth and nail to get them to count leverage at bats. 2 0, 3 1, 1 0 to buy yourself that fastball middle cut and he didn't miss it. And he takes ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Hit out to its second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're on to the ninth here in game one, and we still have no score. Edwin Diaz will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Now batting, Daniel Murphy. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the stretch, Murphy turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. 0 and 1 count, and the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And a swing and a miss on the fastball, and there's the first out here in the ninth. But that like swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. On to first, and there are two down. Now batting the third baseman. Nolan Arenado. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Boy, this guy comes out of the pen. He loves coming in in spots like this, tight situations. This is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still no score. Your Brian Shaw please. comes on to work now on the mound, hoping to Colorado. send this one into extra Number innings. 29. Brian Shaw. Here's your one Cespedes. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better Radio. fortunes Radio. here. Yeah, Matty, it's always Don't a little field, frustrating man. when you square Go one ahead. up. You hit a solid line Go drive ahead. like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. No balls in one strike. Oh. 
This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Cespedes behind a ball and two strikes. The short hit hard. Story scoops it up. On to first, and that is a huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Man, the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason and that's exactly what this man did he's our tops player of the game yeah no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory he was certainly a big factor here and it was pretty cool to see So the Mets got the result they wanted in the series opener yesterday. Heidi, how would you assess this team's attitude entering today's contest? Well, Matt, this club got off on the right foot with a big win in game one of the seven-game series. But there was no self-congratulations going on in the clubhouse before this game two matchup. These guys feel like they need to approach every game like it's a decisive game. And as one player told me, winning yesterday doesn't do anything for us today. So it sounds like this team is pretty locked in on the task at hand, guys. Leading off for the Rockies. So the batting order the turns over eight. now and set to go. Garrett Hampson. He'll open it up in the Colorado sixth. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a cold strike. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Right. 
one and two here it comes. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. Throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Daniel Murphy. First delivery to him on the way. Now a slider down the middle but laid off. To me getting ahead 0-1 it's the most important pitch in the game Maddie. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box when I'm sitting 1 0. I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1. When you're down 0 1, your head's on a swivel. First offering on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. Blackman behind no balls and two strikes. Wow that was an ugly swing right there and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning. Three up three down for Colorado but they lead it one to nothing. First pitch coming, here it is. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Hey, I watched Tom Glavin master throwing change ups inside to right handed batters and getting them to pull it foul. If this guy can command that front hip curveball, he's going to go to it all game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. The 1 2. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. Up next for the bat, the pitcher. One away now for the Mets in the sixth, and the pitcher steps in next. It'll be Steven Matz. Todd Frazier will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 21, Todd Frazier. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Oh man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better, and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And it's fouled away. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. And another foul ball. He'll try again one two off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hey I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Now a foul tip here but it's held on to by Ionetta to preserve the strikeout. Nicely done. He's no just ringing up two. strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. In now is Andrelton Simmons. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. No hits to this point. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked 
I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heated. That's a hit the first of the game for the Mets. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, now the batter was able to keep Number his hands six. inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. First with two men out, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. He's set, and the pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. A ball and a strike. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. Ready on one and two. Slider laid off for a ball. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Still even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a liner. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on MLB Network. Your Seth Lugo please. is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning ten. number seven. Number 67. Seth. <laughs> Here's Nolan Arenado. He's batting cleanup in this one, but we'll get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. I know we got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. On a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, the in a one run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. A ball and a strike to Trevor Story. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got a hurry. In time to first, and there are two away. Now back. Left Two away now in the Colorado seventh. And into bed next will be the outfielder David Dahl. Here comes the first pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing and one. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They lead it one to nothing. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. Individual matchup numbers against John Gray. He's got four hits and ten at-bats. He's taken him deep once. Dangerous curveball that time, but laid off as it drops into the top of the zone. Okay, okay, I see where this guy's going, right? He wants to pitch backwards, a little oh oh curveball. Don't be shocked if this hitter's sitting all over that same pitch right here. Some action out in the bullpen, couple of right handers starting to loosen up. 
Cespedes behind the ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Fastball here misses low and it's back to even now at two and two. Here now the two two. This one's down to third. Gloved by Arenado. On to first and that is a big out to lead off the home seven. The right fielder number 30. Michael. Stepping in Michael Conforto. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1 and 0. Well, that's a great take there, right there, on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. The 2 0 on the way is in there for strike one. That is a pro pitch right there. 2 0 curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches. You'll be around for a long time. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Fouled off. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. This is only their second base runner of the game now after that earlier hit. Tough to score Real when you fair. don't have anyone on base. So Bravo. we'll see if they can get something going here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Line towards center field. And here's a dive by the center fielder, but it's off his glove. I'll tell you what, d -Roll, this guy's been on point after that. The knock, that's only the their second goal. knock of the game, Ball and it's getting good. late into this one. Yeah, it's oh, frustrating. Oh. You can see it from the manager to the hitting coach to everyone in this lineup. They are really upset with the way they've swung the bats. Maybe this is the start of something late. So striding in, Robinson Cano, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Cano waits on the first pitch. And a curveball to begin the at bat 0 and 1. Hey this guy's pitching pretty well as we're rolling into the late innings. It's interesting though his first pitch strike percentage less than 40 percent so far in this one behind 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss and they'll dodge a major bullet that time two away. This is the kind of the bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way yeah, back to the dugout to the have a little chat game. about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. Standing in now Dominic Smith as he takes a cold strike on the black it's 0 and 1 0 for 2 for him to this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he misses with it one and one. Hit hard down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Two and two. Here it is. Hot shot on the ground is short. And that's through. A base hit. Conforto is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate. We're all square and one apiece.
You know, D. Rowe, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late innings. So that RBI base hit to tie things up. That comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable. He's able to get that knock in that big spot. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Ramos over at second. Smith at first, two out in the inning. Two balls and no strikes to the Mets center fielder. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. Ramos ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Four of those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning you want to show up when the game is on the line can you quiet your emotions down take the crowd out of it and slow Ladies yourself and down enough to come through and that's please. exactly what he did Jed Lowry we'll see what he can do Number off four. the bench is he'll bat yeah. with runners at the corners and two Lowry. gone here low for ball one and we'll see what he can do here two on two away two home so far this inning there's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike two runs four hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far in there one and two now Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch sent on the ground at the second. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Eighth inning coming up. The Mets lead this one two to one. Jerry's familia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 27, Jerry Familia. Ian Desmond been a strikeout victim twice in this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Grounder down the line at third. Cano has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting. Here's the catcher Chris. now, Chris Ionetta. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's set. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Ionetta behind now, 0 and 2. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth.
the 0 2 once more. And he fouls this one off. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Lifetime against Familia. He's 0 for 4. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Cespit is going back. A leap and oh wow, a great effort to make the play and end the inning. Definitely worth another look as he scales the wall to take away a home run. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Ladies Brian and Shaw goes on to pitch please. out of the bullpen in the now bottom half of the, the eighth. Number 29. Now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Andrelton Simmons. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Leading up for the Mets, the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. The 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone two and two. Here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full. Jeff McNeil waits on deck. Crowd gets up for the three two. Into right field that's a base hit. This guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3 2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. In now, Jeff McNeil. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. First offering on its way. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Here's the 0 1 pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's your one Cespedes. Fouled away. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Nope. 1 and 1. His numbers against Brian Shaw. A number of meetings. He's 1 for 7. The 1 1. Taken. Strike 2. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Still one and two. He 
Here's another one two to two balls and two strikes now. The two two grounded back up the middle one there on to Murphy it's a double play and that ends the inning nothing doing for the Metropolitans they still lead it two to one. Edwin Diaz please. comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one off ten. here in the top of the Number ninth. 39. Edward Diaz. And that will bring in Garrett Hampson. He's the one to start off the ninth Good inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Ready with the 0-2. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And it's fouled away. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And it just barely makes contact there as this is fouled at the plate and it remains nothing in two. A ball and two strikes now. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Into the box, Daniel Murphy. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Grounded weakly toward third. Cano charging in on it. On to first, and the Rockies are now down to their final out of the game. The right fielder, number 19. The Rockies down to their final out now. And into bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. First delivery to him on the way. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there, getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Behind 0-2 now. A sold-out crowd of 41,800 get to their feet now in Flushing. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. Fouled off. Last strike now for Colorado. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Two balls and two strikes now. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. So the Mets have grabbed a commanding 2-0 lead in this best of seven series, guys. Yeah, Matt, let me share an interesting stat. A team that jumps out to a 2-0 lead in a seven-game series, they win that series about 83% of the time. That's super interesting right there, Dan. And that's all well and good, but the way I look at it, only 50% of the work is done right now. They've still got to win two more games against a very good team who is now going to be fighting out of a corner. You can never get comfortable in postseason baseball.